What's up guys, welcome back again. In this video, we will see some of the new features and changes to the Oxygen OS 3.5.1. So already I've shown you 25 plus new features in 3.5.0. So that video is more important because it contains the first community build. And I have still many commands. People are still not clear about the, what is this community build and when they are going to get that update. So let me clear it again. So this is a new build 3.5.x series. So there are two chances whether you can directly get this build uh, in future maybe after three to four months from now or you may get the same features from that build to this 3.2 and uh, 4 for example currently we have so hopefully in 3.4 or 5 or 6 to 8 uh, it's still not sure because there's only two way if they, if they follow the iOS pattern then definitely they, you are going to get this 3.5 branch otherwise if you're following windows phone stuff then you may get this uh, features into 3.2 dot uh, whatever will it come in the coming days all right so let's get started the first change is we have got the new accent color so as you can see uh, here's the one the new option inside the display if you just click here we get eight new colors here so you can pick whatever you want so for example right now it is green if you just slide it down you can see all stuff changed to green if you just come back this is green now so they are actually categorizing a different stuff so again if you just take here if you take blue so and but still i am missing this red accent color that was very nice now if you go back here and the new changes that we have the new battery icon customization you can get the same inside the setting so just go under this section of the battery you can see uh, if you just click on this here uh, you'll get this new battery icon right now it is set to circle by default as you can see and uh, if i just move it click again i'm getting this battery bar so and third is you can either hide it so but i will suggest to use it because it's very nice and uh, at least you can monitor how much color is left so as shown in 3.5.0 so it will show you exactly the same uh, color whatever led you are using for example right now i am using this uh, red led as you can see so it will show exactly the same red color and if you change any other color it will take that color and show that and further uh, going inside the display again there is a new LED notification option that was not in interior fire at all. only we have got this pulse notification now it has been changed so you can see throughout the global battery fold and battery charging battery will have selected red peer-to-peer -peer app in which you can exactly configure for each app which color you want and we have the new scene mode available which is called display srgb added earlier it was on the system ui tuner but now it has been added to here you can click on this srgb it may save a battery but uh, it looks a warmer side and either you can prefer to get a same effect from this here or you can move to cold i prefer to use colder and back again we've got the night mode again it is not as fully customizable as you got in the ios and the android and w2 when where you can easily change the tint color exactly brightness and some of the other option like uh, they can adjust according to time and condition but right now you just manually have to enable that and i guess it's not there even too on this uh, uh, it's not there on uh, the quick toggles too you need to manually go there in future hopefully they may add this feature inside this year and again the biggest change you might have noticed this time like dark mode theme is back again so it was grayish on the 3.5.0 but now it is completely dark so but it's still not in all places so as you can see this is still not dark and uh, still it is a uh, sort of uh, gray only but uh, anyway you can take this feature this is very nice and apart from that there is some other general bug fixes so and this is just all about the official changes now we will see some of the minor changes that i have to analyze that and you guys need to tell me whether their features are there in 3.2.4 or not so first of all you might have seen here and in 3.5.0 the notification bar that we are sliding has um, it's not completely uh, it's one side you can see is minor shifted and this time it was completely covering this area but in 3.5.0 it was a bit of the same exactly exact gapping that we saw on that side it should be in here but they have moved it a bit when uh, look like they are stretching something and it should be completely uh, failing that one i hope so but anyway it looks nice too you have uh, you can easily see the background wallpaper and they should be doing same thing here so this is a very minor change so you won't be noticed at all and there's a new wi-fi activity notification optimized so you can see right now this uh, wi-fi if i just do some activity so it shows a very small and tiny activity notification and the same applies in case you are using 4g too but the for 4g it shows in the bigger way you can see 
and it looks great at actually so i prefer to use uh, this nice you can actually uh, get to know like whether you're really consuming your mobile data or wireless internet or not and inside the system UI tutorial, it is still unstable and it still has a white background so as said by the company uh, do not try to change anything else i'm not playing at all because i cannot take the risk of formatting the device again so leave it to system UI tuner don't use as of now and you have new smart wi-fi switcher inside the wi-fi you need to go uh, this uh, inside the advanced section if you come here you can see it shows according to wi-fi connectivity and signal strength auto switch to uh, better network connection so i have two wi-fi here so both of them actually one is 5 gigahertz so one is 2.4 gigahertz so it keeps on changing and sometimes i did notice that inside this data usage uh, limit for the mobile you can see there is new option auto disconnect from network so when you reach to your mobile data limit whatever you have set it it will automatically disconnect from your network so it's a good move and it also does apart from that it shows the warning too so these are all guys the new small changes and the official changes so in the final conclusion whether you should be really updating to this build or not so still i will suggest do not use that because i did found sometimes some memory management issues so sometime i uh, for example as you can see this youtube app is still showing that background i can it should not do that i just open that in the morning and that window is gone so it will uh, reload when i if i open the app you can see it's reloading again so and some uh, kind of glitch i found and uh, when switching from here to there i did notice that uh, it uh, actually slutters a bit and uh, battery wise is fine there is not so that's it guys for this video hope you guys find this video helpful stay tuned i'll come back with a new video updates this is Saurabh. thanks for watching